Bobo and Barbershop, I've been speaking. Like I said before, I'm going to go down cutting. I just hope I'm not working on a customer when it happens. Hi, <laughs> How are you doing? If I went into a store and they called me by, with my name, remembered my name, I'd always go there, you know? How about Friday morning, Alan? That sounds good. Securing a spot in the only chair at Ivan Tadic's Barbershop always sounds good to his customers. On this day, it was Greg Fuller's turn. He's been coming here since 1961, when he was six. Ivan's been cutting here since 1949, when he was 18. Back then, it was his dad's barbershop, and Ivan Sr. taught his son two very valuable lessons. Naturally, the first was how to cut hair. Inadvertently, the second was how to listen. He'd be talking to his customers, and his customers would be talking to him. All of a sudden, he'd just butt right in, you know, and I thought, I'm going to do just exactly the opposite. So I listened, and when they tell me something, I pause, and my gosh, look what happened now. I've got, I don't have 200 customers, I have 200 friends, you know. When did you start going to appointments, Simon? February 1970. Before that, you'd have to come in and wait sometimes a couple hours, you know, to get in. As great a guy as Ivan is, I don't know too many people who would wait two hours if the haircut wasn't also great. So yes, his scissor skills are right on par with his A-plus personality. The secret to cutting hair, you don't cut it, don't cut it the way I want it, I cut it the way the customer wants it. Does that style have a name? This style right here? Yes. Short. <laughs> he was born during the Great Depression, and to get to this weekend's 90th birthday, he also had to survive the great pandemic. But the truth is, Ivan and his shop aren't just surviving, they're thriving. When we were here in the 50s, there were all kinds of businesses. But then Washington Square came in and everyone got panicky and left. Then the antique stores came in and they were here for years. And then they left, then the restaurants came in. But I'm still here. <laughs>